Welcome to Deep Lizard. My name's Mandy, and in this episode, we'll be talking about the Keras integration with TensorFlow, the compatibility requirements that you need to know, as well as how to get Keras installed on your machine. Now, before we can discuss the Keras integration with TensorFlow, we first need a little bit of a history lesson. So historically, Keras was an API that actually sat on top of one of three lower level APIs. Those lower level APIs were TensorFlow, Theano, and CNTK. And the way it worked was that Keras kind of acted as a high level wrapper to these lower level APIs, making it really easy for the user to interact with. And you could choose as the user whether you wanted your backend for Keras to be either one of these three lower level APIs. And that was referred to as the Keras backend engine. So ultimately, TensorFlow won the popularity contest for the Keras backend engines. And now, instead of choosing to run Keras on one of three backend engines, TensorFlow actually comes packaged with Keras integrated within the TensorFlow library now. So now when you install TensorFlow, you automatically get Keras as well. Now, the good thing about this course is that you'll be able to follow it whether you're running the new updated version of Keras that's been integrated with TensorFlow, or if for whatever reason you're still running the standalone version of Keras with either the TensorFlow, Theano, or CNTK backend. Actually, from a usability standpoint, whether you're running Keras in the old way or in the new way, the main difference is actually just in the import statements. For example, previously, if we wanted to make use of a dense layer, then we would access it by saying from keras.layers import dense. Now we just say from tf.keras.layers import dense. So even though this may be pretty straightforward, you can check out the corresponding blog for this episode on deeplizard.com and you can see a list of common import statements and how they change from the previous standalone way of accessing them with Keras to how you can access them now with tf.keras. Now let's discuss how to install Keras so that you can have it on your machine. Previously, we said that you get Keras now whenever you install TensorFlow. So therefore we need to install TensorFlow. And this is a very difficult process, you guys. You run pip install TensorFlow and that's it. And then you have Keras. So really not difficult at all, very straightforward. Now in terms of compatibility requirements, like which versions of Python are supported, by the current version of TensorFlow whenever you view this episode, just be sure to check out TensorFlow's website to get that information. And actually on deeplizard.com, we keep all of our code and references to the code in the blog updated and maintained with any fixes or changes that are required for new releases of software versions. So regardless of whenever you watch this episode, you can refer to deeplizard.com to find out if there's been any changes that you need to integrate whenever you run your code. Also, if there's ever any bugs, then those will be fixed and incorporated as well. And that's all there is to it for getting set up with Keras. Now, by the way, we think it is really important to expand your mind. So whether that's learning a new programming language, whether it's jumping into deep learning, or just putting yourself in a new situation. We've found that changing our situation, putting ourselves outside of our comfort zone has been one way to seriously expand our minds and what better way to do that than through travel, which is exactly what we do to put ourselves into new situations regularly. Actually, right now we are filming this from Vietnam. And I will admit that our travels have been on hold for quite a while actually due to the unfortunate situation with COVID-19. So of course, remember to be safe. I don't necessarily think that traveling during this time is the best idea, but as soon as this passes, and things are safe again for travel purposes, we definitely think that that is a great way to step out of your comfort zone and to expand your mind. And we actually have another channel on YouTube, Deep Lizard Vlog, where we document our travels, we vlog casually and connect with you guys in another way. So check that out if it seems interesting to you. All right, now that we've got Keras installed, we are finally ready to jump in to the code and start making use of the Keras API. So leave a like and comment on this video if you were able to get Keras up running smoothly and consider joining the Deep Lizard Hive Mind for download access to code files as well as some other rewards. I'll see you in the next one.